Okay, so I already have my foundation done as well as my contouring. I have my eyeshadow base applied on already. I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Remember, you guys have to apply a concealer on your eyes. That way that eyeshadow could stick. So we are going to be taking from the MAC Holiday Collection in blue. We're going to be taking the color Naval Blue. And this is going to serve as our transition color. Make sure you guys blend this really good. We are gonna try to make this a little bit light, but right here, I did a mistake. I grabbed a lot. When it comes to MAC pigments or any kind of pigments, you guys need to be careful when grabbing the product because sometimes you could grab a little bit more than you want. And this is what happens. You guys get a little bit more darker color on your, on your transition color, and as you guys know, transition colors are supposed to be in light. But whatever, I'm just working with what I got, so just make sure you guys blend. So now to make this a little bit darker, because we are going to be adding a little bit of depth in the eye, just spray your brush with a little bit of finishing powder, finishing powder, freaking finishing spray, either water, whatever, try not to damp it a lot and just pick up the pigment and just lightly tap at the corner of your eye, in the outer corner of your eye. This is going to make it look a little bit more darker. So we are going to be taking that same product, Naval Blue, and we're going to be putting this all over our waterline. Be really careful, um, really do spray your brush guys because as you know this is pigments, it's really loose and the last thing you want is for some of that to get in your eye and your eye starts burning like hell and nobody wants that. Getting back to business, we are going to be taking Silver Fog and that is going to go on top of our lid. That's what's going to make this look a little bit more frosty. I don't know why this could remind me of Christmas though. So yeah, make sure you guys spray your brush, whatever brush you are going to be using for this. Um, spray it with finishing spray, that way you could pick up the pigments. And you guys could achieve a more foil look. Um, I guess the more you kind of damp your, I keep saying damp, no, not damp because that would be bad. The more you guys spray your brush, the more foil this shadow is going to look. Um, you guys are going to see right here, exactly right here, I actually wet it a little bit more and it looks freaking beautiful, metallic. So yes guys, do that if you guys want this a little bit more, just you know, sticking out. And we are also going to be putting this on our waterline as well. Just lightly tap it. Don't over exaggerate because we want the blue to actually show as well. And we don't want it to just, you know, we don't want silver fog to take over that whole area. So yeah, guys, make sure you guys tap it. Tap that waterline. So we are going to go back to our navel blue and we are going to spray our brush. We're going to be placing this in the inner corner of our eyes just to give it a little bit more of a true blue. Because if you guys notice, the other color looks like a dark blue and that is because it's a dry pigment. That's why you need to wet this a little, wet your brush a little. So yeah, we just want to give that blue effect because we are going to be placing our glitter on top. So next we are going to be taking the last color in our pigments and this is blues, this is the glitter. Like I said girls, be very very careful when applying this all over your eye. 
make sure you guys spray your brush with finishing spray or whatever whatever you guys haven't reached that's safe to use make sure you guys spray it do not pick up the glitter dry in the brush this will cause other glitters to fly everywhere to just go everywhere and the last thing you want is glitter in your eyeballs Right here, I actually think I grabbed a little bit too much glitter or I must have moistened up the brush a lot. I'm not really sure what I did. So that's why I'm touching up the other eye. But when it comes to applying your glitter growth, be careful and also lightly tap the glitter in place. Don't go crazy because remember, this is freaking glitter and glitter is always going to fall out. This part right here kind of had me nervous. I'm like, oh my God, like I'm going to get all this in my eyes. But just be very freaking careful. And I don't know if this was even a good idea putting glitter inside there, but you know what? It's like whatever. But yeah, girls, I made a few mistakes right here, and you guys could already see not everything comes out perfect. So the next thing you are going to be doing is we are going to be getting a white eyeliner pencil. I'm using my NYX Jumbo Pencil in white. This is one of my favorites as well because it's very it's very creamy. It really slides really well. And we're going to be putting that in the inside of our waterline. And of course, your mascara. You guys could top this too with bottom lashes too. I just didn't feel like putting mine on. Next, I'm going to be taking my favorite eyeliner. This is from um, Tarte Cosmetics. Tarty S Clay Liner. I'm not really sure in black. This is one of my favorites, girls, because it's really, really black. It's easy to apply, but the only thing I'm like the like that I really don't like is the price. If you guys know, this is pretty pricey. I don't remember how much I paid for. I think about thirty bucks. Yes, girls, about thirty bucks, I believe so. But you know what? It's definitely worth it. But who wants to keep wasting thirty bucks on a freaking liner? Like, no. But yeah, this is one of my favorites as well. But hey, if you can afford it, get it. So right here, I'm actually touching up my right eye. If you guys notice, if you look really close, my, both of my liners are freaking different. One of them is going like down, another one's going up. They're like mismatched. I guess today just didn't want to match. But yeah, girls, it's like whatever. Okay, so we are going to be taking the last pigment in our MAC Holiday Collection. I had totally forgot about this one. This one's called Pink Opal, and we're going to be using this to highlight our highlighting areas, the ones that you guys want to stand out. So make sure when you guys pick this up, you guys lightly tap it. It's better if you guys moisten this up too as well, but I didn't. I don't know why the hell I didn't. That didn't even come to my mind. But yes, we're going to be putting this on our brow bone and we are going to be also putting this on our cheekbones as well. Any of the areas you guys want to highlight, you guys could place this in. So I am using my e.l.f. blush brush, if you guys know this is one of my favorites as well. And I will be highlighting my cheeks. And damn, if you guys see my face right here, I was like, oh my God, lying a bitch with that highlight. Last but not least, lashes. Lashes, lashes, girls. I'm using my 402's of Ardell lashes. And right here, when I'm putting my mascara, the freaking one poked my eye and I was like, oh, good Lord, boy, Jesus. My eye was on fire and I did not do this once, but I did it twice. <laughs> like the saying goes, beauty is pain.
Thank you guys so much for watching my room's closet. And remember to subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.